Hey now, what's going on everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and my friend, I guess you could say, dragged me to the theater because she wanted to see this movie very badly. I had no interest in seeing it, but now I've seen it. The Perfect Guy is a 2015 film that was directed by David Rosenthal, and the plot is we meet Sanaya Lengthen who plays Leah. She is in a relationship with Morris Chestnut. They've been together for a little while and she's ready to settle down. She's ready to get married, to start a family, have kids. And Morris Chestnut's like, um, me not so much. Not quite. So she is upset. She leaves him. Very soon after that, she meets Michael Ailey, who plays Carter. And they move quick. They're like quickly in a relationship, he quickly meets her parents, meets the family, meets the friends, and it's all good, it's almost too perfect, until one night he snaps. He snaps and he attacks this guy at the gas station who comes up to her and starts talking to her. And now she's like, okay, never mind. And the rest of the film, uh, Carter is hell-bent on, if I can't have you, nobody will. Now, what I thought of The Perfect Guy is... Mm, mm, I didn't hate the movie. It's not terrible. It's just not all that good either. It's your typical thriller where, you know, it's going to play off of the fears of meeting a guy who is good-looking, who, who seems good at first, and then all of a sudden turns. And... I know most women are going to be watching this and being really into it and, and finding all of the creepy moments that's supposed to be creepy and all of the suspenseful moments, they're going to get into it. Me, on the other hand, I thought it was very, very paint-by-numbers, very straightforward, nothing too surprising or special going on. You sort of predict each and every way it's going to turn. Like at the beginning, when Sanai Lathan starts dating Michael Ailey, they move quick. She's very attractive too, so I almost don't blame Michael Ailey for falling for her so quick. But he falls for her hard. I mean, he's already at the I love you stage, and she doesn't really get freaked out until he flips out on this guy and beats the fuck out of him. I mean, he bashes his face in over and over again just for coming up and, and talking to her. So I get it. She's completely like stay away from me, blah, blah, blah. And immediately he's in stalker mode. He's in creep mode where he's just showing up at her house, showing up at her job, calling her every hour. Like, it's overboard. It's so kind of over the top. Michael Ailey, I, I see him a lot in certain things, certain movies, and he usually plays the good guy. He usually plays the straightforward, straight man of the film. So it was hard for me to buy him as a psychopath or as somebody who you're going to be afraid of. You know, like, there were moments where he had the look. He looked like a crazy guy, but he never really sounded crazy. He never, I don't think, really uh, pulled it off for my liking. So I always kind of looked at any scenes with him acting creepy as more goofy or silly. Oops. So Nia Lathan is fine. I like her. Uh, Morris Chestnut. He's not really in the film for a whole lot, so there's that. Um, one of Sonia Lathan's friends in the film is played by Rutina Wesley, who some people might know from True Blood, so I, I was very happy to see her in this film. She wasn't in it enough, but still, there you go. So I don't know, I'm sure, like, my sister, for example, went to see this movie, and she loved it. She enjoyed it. Uh, my friend, who wanted to see this, she kind of felt the same way that I did. Sort of lukewarm about it, not really loving it. So it's a crapshoot, I guess. I'm sure most people, most women will like it. Me, on the other hand, I'm going to give it a very low rental. Because again, it's not bad. It's not like badly acted. It's not terrible in any way. It's just, it could be a time waster if you red boxed it or Netflixed it. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you have seen The Perfect Guy. What do you think of it? Did you like it more than I did? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!